guys, it's that time of the month again for a favorites video. So I don't really have too many products for this month. A lot of the products for this month that are my favorites are basically brushes and tools since I've been brush crazy for the month of March so that's kind of like the majority of the products on my favorites video so I'm just gonna start off with um, the makeup stuff so my favorite blushes for this month has been Max Copper Tone Blush um, it's just really really pretty natural color on me and it's very very it's just kind of brownish and coppery and it's just very nice and natural looking on the skin once it's blended in especially with my skin tone so that's a favorite and alongside with that I've been using my Tarte exposed blush um, compared to copper tone this is a little bit lighter and it lasts a long time so let me give a swatch for that next to copper tone so this one is a little bit more on like the mauve pink side and while well, copper tone is a little bit more on the warmer side so I've been using these blushes almost every day like I change days with it since they kind of give the same effect on my skin tone next makeup product is my sleek face contour kit and um, I know the previous month I've been using my Milani darker mineral face powder as my contour but I recently just got this and it's in the shade medium right there and I ordered this on eBay since they don't sell um, sleek makeup here in the United States and if you buy it on the website it's a little bit more expensive as far as shipping so I found it on eBay I, fa I bought a palette and then this one I might do a review on both of those um, when I get around to it but this is what it looks like it has a contour and then the other side is a highlighter and it's really really pretty um, if you do, if you have lighter skin tone, you may find this contour too dark. I'm gonna swatch that real quick. So this is the contour side, and that's the highlight on the bottom. It's really, really dark. Um, if you, you may want like you need to blend it really nicely um, because I'm a little bit darker, so it's more natural on my skin tone. But if you are very, very light, you may find this color a little, little too dark for you but the highlight is beautiful on so this was ten dollars so it's a really good deal sleek makeup face contour kit and as far as the majority of the products is gonna be brushes um, since I recently just bought a, a couple of um, brushes from crown this one is the SM 404 which is the duo face and it's a small dual fiber compared to the elf one I have it's a little bit too small so I use this to use with my sleek highlighter and just I use this to highlight my, on top of my cheekbones it's a really good brush and then next one is the C435 from Crown again and it's an angled blush brush um, comparing to the Sigma one this is their large angled contour brush and then comparing it to the Sigma F40 it was way bigger like if you compare it side by side and it holds a lot more products so the Sigma one is still perfect for brush you could actually use this for like an all over facial brush because it's really big especially compared to the Sigma one but I use this for blush and it's really really soft and I just like that it's really big and it just applies blush nicely on the cheek so that's been a favorite this month and then another brush is this mineral powder brush a lot of these brushes I recently got for the month of March so they've kind of just been used since they're fairly new so they're on my favorites and it's the rounded brush and I've been using this to apply my foundation and it's like perfect because you can paint the foundation on your face and you can buff it at the same time so it's really really good brush I love that and then two more are my eye brushes and this one was the one from Crown. I am not sure what the name of this because it doesn't have the label on the on the ferrule. So, and then this one is the C one five eight. And then this is perfect in applying my brow powder when mixing my brow powder and wax. And I just use this brush. And then last tools are for traveling, and they have been really, really, really helpful because they're really mini and they're really cute are the eco tools they come in a set of four brushes 
and they're about $15 I believe $14.99 at Target and then they come in like a flat top this one is kind of like a foundation brush a dome powder brush and then an angled blush brush and then these ones even though they're minis they're actually a really good size so this is the blush brush I was talking to you about and this is the brush that came with the Eco Tools one so it's not that small it's about compar comparable to the Sigma size and even though they're mini brushes they're mini handled brushes there's still like a good amount of hairs on them so they're really awesome for traveling if you don't have a small if you don't have a big makeup bag and you ha just kind of want to throw in brushes and you don't really you know it's something if you don't if you want to take care of your more expensive brushes these are awesome brushes to just kind of take with you and for my next brushes it's kind of like all over the place but anyways I recently got my Naked 2 palette I finally gave in and told myself I'd buy a Naked 2 so I have my the Naked 1 Naked 2 I might do a comparison video on that when I get around to it but one particular shade that I've been really really loving is the shade called Verve right here and it's a really gorgeous metallic silver with like a hint of plum so Here's a swatch of that color right here. And it's so so pretty. It just like gives your it just pops like right when you put in your eyelid and it just gives it a nice pop of color. It's like a mix, it's like a silver, but it has a hint of purple to it. So I really really love that color. So I've been really loving that as an all-over lid color and the color tees on my crease. So and then two more favorites. It's just kind of random favorites is since it's been the weather's been slightly warmer so I've been able to wear a lot of sweeter fragrances and this is my favorite fragrance of all time this is Ralph Wild and a lot of people don't like this because it's really sweet but I in particular love sweet fragrances so this is really really good Ralph Wild so I've been using that this is this is my third bottle for this fragrance and I have a backup already so since it's almost done and then last but not least are my symphony bars um someone at work introduced this to me and I was like I've never heard of symphony bars before so she made me try the candy bar that she had with her and I've been hooked so I bought at least six of these already and I consumed maybe four of them for the month of March and I've been trying to consume this in moderation of course I I eat maybe like a brick or two after lunch and dinner just in moderation but they're so amazing and it's the one with creamy milk cho chocolate almond and toffee chips oh, those are amazing anyways that's it for my March favorites hope this wasn't too long and I'll talk to you guys soon bye